currying. Function currying is a way of manipulating functions. So for the last two lectures I've implemented make adder for you. It's becoming a bit of a tradition, so let's do it again. Def make adder takes an argument n, returns a function which takes an argument k, and returns n plus k. Notice that I have now used a lambda expression rather than defining a function called adder, but the effect is the same. So once I have make adder, I can write a call expression where the operator is itself a call expression, make adder 2 gives me back a function that adds 2 to things, I pass in 3 to that function, and I add 2 to it to get 5. So I call make adder this way, two calls are required to actually get a number out, and that's by contrast we have add, which is a function that just takes two arguments and gives you back their sum. Now, the relationship between make adder and add is a general one. It's between functions that take one argument and give you back functions, and uh, a function that takes multiple arguments and just gives you back the eventual answer. So we can express this general relationship in code. I'll define a function called curry2. 2 means that the function I pass in takes two arguments. And what it does as it defines a function g, which takes one argument, that defines a function h, which also takes one argument, a different argument. What h actually does is it returns f called on x and y. g returns h, and curry2 returns g. Now what have I done? Well, I've created a function curry2 that turns two argument functions such as add into higher order functions such as make adder. Here's the add function. If I want to create an add, if I want to create uh, an equivalent to make adder, all I have to do is curry the add function. Okay, now I have something that behaves just as make adder behaves, which means I can create add 3 by calling m on the number 3, and now I have a function that adds 3 to things. It is the case that I could express curry2 as a nested lambda expression. It is a function that takes f, returns a function that takes x, which returns a function that takes y and returns f of x, y. Just as before, I can apply my new curry2 to, to add and then add things with it via a higher order function. So that's the general relationship. Currying is the act of transforming a multi-argument function into a single argument higher order function that returns a function that takes the rest of the arguments. Currying was discovered not by Haskell Curry, but by Moses Schoenfinkel. And then it was rediscovered and made more popular by Haskell Curry. So some people think it should be called Schoenfinkeling. <laughs>